Okay, this is a preview video of a couple of systems of automated uh, departure and arrival uh, using the pistons added in 1.7. Now I'll be doing a full build video later on. I'm just kind of waiting around for a couple mods to get updated before I try to tackle a longer video, but hopefully this will give you enough to kind of at least get you started. So uh, let's start here with the departure zone. And the basic idea behind this is that we have two pistons. We have a sticky piston and a normal piston. And then we also have a stone pressure plate here. The stone pressure plate detects when the passenger jumps in the cart, which then activates the sticky piston, pushing us forward. Uh, the sticky piston then retracts, and then the normal piston extends, which shoves the cart over here on the tracks right here. Now, uh, this stone pressure plate here, as the sticky piston extends and retracts, that will get moved with you. So uh, when the sticky piston retracts, the stone pressure plate will retract as well, but it will leave the minecart sitting here on this block ready to be pushed by the normal piston. So let's uh, take a look at it real quick. So this would be an incoming cart from our Pez dispenser. Then we jump in here and off we go, just like that. Now the wiring for this is pretty straightforward. Basically we just have a line of redstone coming out of the stone pressure plate here. It comes up, one side of it branches off into the sticky piston. Uh, and it, I do have it going through a repeater here. Uh, otherwise since the stone pressure plate is being moved back and forth that can cause the piston to act a little weird without a repeater. But a repeater on its lowest setting gives it just enough of a, a delay that it kind of smooths things out a little bit. Then on the other side we have the same redstone wire branching off going through two repeaters set to their longest delay and then into the normal piston here. And uh, the two repeaters basically just delay the normal piston from firing for long enough for the sticky piston to fully retract so we don't pop off our stone pressure plate here. But that is the basic idea behind that. And as I say, it's pretty easy. Uh, the departure zone, however, is a little more complicated, but it works off of sort of the same basic principle. Again, we have a sticky piston, a stone pressure plate, and then a normal piston. And they're hooked up about the same way. However, we do have some additional things here. So the first thing we have is a detector rail on either side of our tracks. And basically this activates and then deactivates our passenger detection system. This is hooked into an RS NOR latch, which uh, basically when we press this first one, it'll tell our system to start looking for a rider to exit uh, the minecart. And then when we uh, press the second one, it will deactivate the system. So uh, we'll get into the wiring now. So the first thing we do is this first detector rail runs through a series of repeaters here, all set to their longest delay. And that just gives us enough time to make it up over the ramp and down onto the stone pressure plate uh, without activating our system too early. So we go through the repeaters here all the way down here to the RS NOR latch that controls our passenger detection system. So it basically just turns it on and off. Uh, then from the output of the RS NOR latch, we go into an AND gate here. Now the AND gate is hooked up to the RS NOR latch and to the stone pressure plate here. And the stone pressure plate's kind of running, the line of redstone's kind of running underground here and then ultimately ends up here at the uh, AND gate. Now if we just ran the output directly from the AND gate to our setup for our pistons, uh, what would happen is the AND gate will be supplying a constant supply of power which will cause our pistons to extend but not retract. So the sticky piston will extend after a few seconds. The normal piston will also extend which shoves our stone pressure plate out over the gap right here and basically pops off the stone pressure plate. So what we want to do is just to give them enough power to activate but then cut the power allowing them to retract uh, as they, they did in the departure zone. So to do that we can just use a pulse generator here and basically a pulse generator if you don't know just uh, whenever the state change occurs it will output a brief supply of power uh, and then cut off again so uh, 
basically it'll just cause the pistons to extend but then cut the power to them so they can go ahead and retract now uh, let's give this a shot here we'll jump in I can sit here uh, as long as I want no problem then when I hop out the system activates and sends my cart off to the Pez dispenser. So as I say, this is just kind of a preview, uh, but hopefully that'll be enough to kind of get you started playing with things. Um, in the meantime, I'll try to get some mods updated and do a full build video later on, so stay tuned for that.